Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm in the car right now with my fiance Alan and Kobe is out the window. I was gonna start this video being all nice. It's Sunday, it's nice outside. We're gonna get some fresh air. We're gonna go see our family. And we actually, so we, you guys know we live in a condo. We walked down to our parking spot underground. We literally got out of the elevator and we smelled smoke and we were like, I literally was like, it smells like something's on fire. And then we didn't really think anything of it. We just kind of kept walking to our spot. And then as soon as we opened the door to the underground, it was just like kind of smoky and you could smell it like a hundred times more. So we were like, what the hell? We're walking around, we're looking, we're like, is our car on fire? Is somebody else's car on fire? Like, what the heck? So we got in our car and we're like, should we go tell the security? Like, why does it smell like smoke? And now we just pulled out of our garage and there's literally fire trucks over there something is on fire I don't even know there was actually a lot of smoke coming out and I think they just sprayed something so like over there you see these like green boxes I don't know I'm gonna zoom in again I think these are like what are they generators or like power boxes but like underneath this one so much smoke was coming up but you could see there they're spraying it I think oh yeah they're spraying some more right now they're just spraying around all the mulch and everything but I'm a little bit worried cuz like this is my car right here this white golf we're in Alan's car right now so like I'm wondering if I should go move it well, I think you should move it but it's just scary cuz the fire is coming from underneath the ground yeah like it's coming from underneath that green thing so I think I'm gonna move my car because mine's car is literally oh, right there so Kobe is so interested he's like what is going on there was literally so many people over there taking videos like there must have been residents one guy was literally there for like five minutes just holding his camera I was like yeah that's for sure going on YouTube but we're kind of so nosy we're just chilling here and waiting we're going like I mentioned we're going to go see our family but we're like oh they're spraying more now it must be the mulch or something. It's so crazy though because especially in the past like couple weeks we saw another fire when we were driving on the highway and I think I've seen another one so I don't know if it's like it's not like it's hot here but the sun is hot. I don't know so I, I don't know. It literally snowed this week so it's not like we're not getting precipitation like we had rain last week too no? So I don't know, it's super strange. We've been getting, there's been a lot of fires in the GTA recently. If you live in the GTA, you'll probably know where I'm talking about, but the 403 where square one is, one day I was driving to work because I like I my office is in Mississauga. So I drive past square one like almost every day and there was a fire on the side of the road, just like a random field. Like, I don't know, it's crazy. Look at these two, they're so nosy. So nosy, hello? 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 <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> They're so nosy. Yeah, I think we're gonna head out now. I don't know. They look like it's it looks like it's under control now and you don't smell any smoke anymore or see any, so I guess that's good. Security guard looks like he's walking back. The other guy that was filming looks like he's walking back or to his car, so we are gonna head to go see our family now, so see you tomorrow probably. Hi. Hello baby, come say hi to the camera, hello. What is up you guys, happy Monday from Kobe and I. We just got back from work. I went into the office this morning for a couple of hours and now I'm home and honestly, I've just been like sitting on the floor. Kobe just came over here to join me, but like I, I have so many things to do, but I just don't wanna do them. Like do you ever get in those moods where it's just like, you know you have a list, like I have a planner and it's all filled out, everything that I need to get done today and I'm like, I've checked like two things off and I have like 10 things on the list. I don't know why I'm feeling like this. I know I'm gonna get them eventually done but I'm just loafing and then I sit here and I get anxiety because I'm like I am loafing, I need to get this stuff done but I'm just, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I don't know why. It's really cold outside today, like I honestly don't even think I'm gonna work out. I'm not even in the mood. I'm honestly kind of over the fact of home workouts. Like if it's not nice outside for me to go do an outdoor home workout then I pretty much don't want to work out period because like this is the space that I have to work with like this little area usually I just like move this table and I work out here I use like my couch for my hip thrusts and whatever but like I'm just kind of over it at this point I want summer this is the last week of April so I'm hoping May is gonna bring some nice weather mother nature please 
please please please please but yeah so I don't think I'm gonna work out today plus again I'm loafing I have so much things to do I actually just sold two things on Poshmark it was a little bit weird it actually sold like within minutes of each other which is weird because like if you have Poshmark or if you use Poshmark or sell things buy things on it if you sell things on Poshmark like you probably know what I'm referring to some days like I don't sell stuff every single day I just don't have that much things to sell but sometimes like it's just weird like I'll go like a week or two and I won't sell anything and then today I'll sell two things within literal minutes of each other and it's not the same person so kind of weird I'm gonna go pack those two packages now so this is our second room we call this our media room I was trying to print like these labels so you get shipping labels sent to you we have our printer just behind here what's what's the issue hello what is your issue? So as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, our printer, I don't know, it's not working. Alan says we need more ink. He took it out. I don't know. Anyways, over here is where I keep my other stuff for Poshmark. So I'm just going to grab that quickly. Oh, I dropped something. And just bring it on over here. I grabbed the two pieces that I'm selling. I also need my laptop. So I got my laptop here. I'm just going to place it down just so I can see the girls' names because I wasn't able to print the shipping labels. So I'll quickly show you guys what I'm selling. So this uh, first thing is a bikini top. This is from Frankie Swim in this gorgeous neon green color. It came with bottoms, but I ruined them on a trip. I think it was our trip to Cancun, which was like two or three years ago. Two years ago, I think? I can't even remember. And the top is like kind of small. This is a size US 8. I mean, like the coverage part is not small, but it's more like the, the straps, like on the band part. I always have this issue because my lats are getting bigger and it just doesn't match my chest. So I sold this for, I think, $25. And then as well, I sold this sports bra. It's in this beautiful burgundy color from Namesthetics. This isn't a size small, I think. Yeah, this was way too small for me. I ended up getting another one in pink, I believe, size medium, and it fit a lot better. So this one I sold for $22, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna pack these up now. How I start it is I always grab a tissue paper. I just use yellow from the dollar store because it matches my poly mailers. I bought my poly mailers from Amazon and they're my favorite. It's this yellow packaging with like limes and pineapples and all this cute things on it, oranges. So I thought the yellow tissue paper just matched. Kobe obviously has to come because he's so nosy like hi so what i do is i usually take pictures of everything i throw it in the wash i put it up on poshmark and then when it's dry and everything and it's all clean i have like this huge container under my bed where i keep all of my poshmark stuff for sale so when something sells i just go in grab it and it's ready to go basically i just wrap it up and then i just put this cute little thank you sticker on it kobe seriously i'm trying to do something like look at this guy then as well, I like writing a little thank you note, just a handwritten note saying thank you for shopping my closet. And I always try and add something like for the bikini, I'll say like, oh, I hope you enjoy the bikini. I hope it looks good on you. Like, hope you can wear it on a beach or something like that. Or like if I sell like workout clothes, I'm always like, oh, kill it in the gym or something like that just to be cute and like fun genuinely i want people to enjoy the clothes that i'm sending them as well i also want like good ratings and them to like give me five stars or whatever because that helps my poshmark as well poshmark is actually like people do this as a full-time job which is crazy you can make a lot of money with it definitely i obviously just do this on the side just to get rid of like clothes that i have or clothes that are just sitting around or i don't use anymore i was honestly thinking about doing a video where I talk about all of my streams of income so like you guys know obviously YouTube I have my own business I'm gonna start getting into online coaching just that I have so many things on the go so I don't know if that would be something interesting to you let me know because that was actually a video I've been thinking about doing obviously not to show off I'm not like rich or anything by no means I wish I was rich but your girl is not rich, but I just try and make like some extra money on the side just to like help pay some bills, to put into our savings account, to put towards our future house, just like stuff like that, wedding, you know, get married next year. So yeah, things like that. If you would be interested in that kind of video, let me know. Both packages are packed and ready to go. This is the bra, it's a little bit heavier and thicker. And then this is the bikini top. My fiance Alan just messaged me saying that he ordered more ink on Staples. So he's gonna do curbside 
pick up on his way home from work. Hopefully he's gonna be here before the post office closes today. Because I like getting these packages out the same day if I can, just because like I get busy and I don't want it to like drag on and the faster it gets to them, the faster I get paid. So hopefully he'll be here soon. Happy Wednesday, I have to move the camera a little bit. I just got a package, I'm really excited. I just kind of did a workout. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so over the home workouts. I think I told you guys this earlier this week or in another vlog. I don't even know because time, time is just passing by. I'm not gonna talk. I just wanna get to the point. I'm just trying to find the company on Instagram. So I will put their little picture here. They are called suppy.ca or just suppy. They are from Toronto. So they're local supplement brand to me. I guess they're fairly new. It looks like they're kind of new. I'm not sure, but they have a line of supplements. I think maybe just protein for the time being. I'm not hundred percent sure they have, but anyways, I, I'm just blobbing. Oh my god. So they reached out to me on Instagram They asked if they could send me protein to try out and review for them. They're not asking me to do this They just wanted me to like give them like my review and feedback. So they sent me a little package I think it's chocolate protein. I'm kind of excited because I haven't had chocolate protein in a while I usually get my chocolate protein from Walmart because the, like the flavor I forget what the brand is called I think like isofem that's the only chocolate flavor I've really found to like like and it's cheaper at Walmart so whatever I just buy it from there but I haven't got it in a really long time so we are opening this up wow it's a really big bag okay so there is this little card it says hey Kayla thanks for supporting Suppy and choosing to shake it up we hope you enjoy your Canadian made protein powder Ben at suppy.ca. That is so cute. He drew a little dumbbell. Oh my god, that's adorable. This is what it looks like. First of all, I love the packaging. It's black and blue. It's very like simple looking, very sleek. I'm digging that. I've actually never got protein in a bag before. So this is a first for me. Usually I get it in like those big containers. So this is new. This is two pounds, which is 907 grams. In one scoop, aka one serving, you're getting 127 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, two grams of carbs, and 24 grams of protein. So that is pretty good. I guess let's just open it. I did a kind of workout. So I'm gonna have a protein shake because I'm pretty hungry. I don't know why I'm trying to rip it when I have scissors right here. I'm actually excited to smell it. Definitely smells like chocolate. Mmm. It smells like, I don't know, like Kit Kat or something. Or like Smarties. Actually, Smarties, I think. Mmm. I'm excited. Now we are going to make the shake. So I have my Healy mix. You guys know this is my favorite shaker ever. No whisk, no ball is needed. It's literally just the design. It ma it's magic. Literal magic. I have a code, Kayla. It gets you 20% off and free shipping to my Canadian peeps. So I'm just adding my water in and we're gonna put a scoop of this in. Why is it so bright? Oh my God. I'm really not kidding when I say it smells like Smarties. Like if it tastes like Smarties, wow. So scoop going in and then I'm gonna add some ice and we're gonna shake it up, shake it up. Make sure the lid's on properly. So. Mmm. I was definitely expecting more chocolate flavor, but I actually don't mind it because, like I say this all the time, I don't like protein powders that are very like sugary or like sweet tasting. I definitely think it could have more chocolate taste, but like at the same time, I'm not really mad about it. I feel like this would be perfect in like yogurt, oatmeal, shakes smoothies like something like that you know so thank you again to suppy for sending me this if you guys are interested i'll put a link to their website in the bio i'm not making anything off of it support local they're a new brand so just help them out honestly not much going on today it is almost four o'clock i'm probably gonna make dinner i need to shower i have a lot of freaking editing to do a lot like, I mean, a lot. So I think that's what's gonna be for the rest of my day. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Happy Friday, it is the weekend. This is me working from home today. So I got my glasses on, my hair's up, just wearing this crop top. 
biker shorts, got my laptop and everything set up. Kobe is literally like, he's waiting for me. I did go into the office yesterday and then I had a really, really good Zoom call. I am so freaking excited. So if you're following me on IG, if you're not, go do so. But I obviously recently became a certified personal trainer. Can you hear this wind? Like, hello? It is so windy and I'm so high up in the condo so it we always hear everything. Plus, I think something is wrong with our door. So like, right here, I don't know, like winds, I'm so dark now, but like winds comes through there, I don't know. Anyways, as I was saying, recently became a certified personal trainer. I don't know like the business part of it. It's definitely something I need to learn because I wanna do online coaching. So I need to learn how to, run that sort of business. You guys know I have my own business that I took over for my mom, but I'm still learning that and it's been like three and a half years. Business was not something I was ever into. So when I start my online coaching, I wanna start it right. So I had a Zoom call yesterday about that. I'm taking out like a little mini business course to teach people how to do online coaching type of thing. Basically, it's going to give me the essentials and the tools I need to get started. So tell me how I set up my business, how to set up bank accounts and that kind of stuff. I've been working with Dela. I don't know if you guys know who she is. I'll put her Instagram here. She's a fitness influencer and honestly, she's a boss babe. Like she literally kicks, but her posts are so, so, so informative. She's honestly amazing. I highly recommend following her if you're not. Her content is just, if you're on a fitness journey or you wanna be a coach or anything like that, like she is top tier. She actually has like a mentorship business. So I've been talking to her for about a month and a half now. She set me up with a Zoom call with one of her specialists and we got enrolled. Basically, I don't wanna give like too much away, but these are all like modules on the left-hand side. I'm just blocking them because I just don't wanna get in trouble or anything. Like, I don't know if I'll get in trouble. So this course, tech, it's I'm gonna call it a course, but basically I have access to it for three months. Obviously, I don't think I'm gonna take that long at all because I wanna get started on my online coaching right away, but it just basically is gonna give me the tools to how to get started, how to set up my business, which websites I should use or what they recommend, what apps I should use, just like templates for client assessments, that kind of stuff. So I don't wanna give too much away, but it's really gonna help me kickstart my business and set me off to be successful because I don't wanna be like how my business is now that it's like three years later and I'm still learning. I wanna know everything off the bat. That way I set myself up for success. That way I kick butt and just succeed. So yeah, I'm pumped about that. I have a little bit of my own business work to do today. I just have to like set up some jobs and stuff for next week and the week after. Um, I'm probably gonna make breakfast right now, even though I'm not super hungry. I think that time of the month is coming for me, so my stomach is feeling a little bit weird. Maybe I'll just have like a bagel with eggs. I don't know, maybe oatmeal. I'm not sure what I'm feeling, but yeah. That's pretty much on the menu for me today. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. I'm gonna start this like course thing and I'm just gonna prepare. Like I wanna do workout guides. I wanna do so much with my personal training. I just really, eventually hopefully maybe make this my full-time job i'm not even sure but for the time being i'm gonna balance both my building maintenance business and then my online coaching i have so many goals in mind like i have short-term goals i have like overall goals and i have like long-term goals like eventually what i want to do is actually open my own gym like that has always been a goal of mine it doesn't even have to be like a crazy busy gym like maybe just a small gym where i can train my own people and maybe eventually if i can get it big enough then yeah it'd be a gym that like people buy memberships to and come to like i just have so much goals and i'm really on this path and i'm trying to manifest that like this is what's for me like fitness has become my passion i know this video i did a lot of talking a lot of venting it was a lot longer video than i thought and i didn't even vlog some of the days so i hope you guys enjoyed this type of video um like sit downs and chit chats and talks like that it's weird because like i've been doing youtube for two years now but i feel like i'm actually starting to get more comfortable like before i felt like i need to have have like a little script or like kind of know ahead of time what I was saying but now I'm just like going with the flow and I'm being myself and hopefully you guys see that and enjoy it I think I'm gonna end the vlog here just because my arms hurting and I want to get to work I don't have much going on today so it's not gonna be an interesting day make sure you guys subscribe to me down below give this video a big thumbs up follow me on IG because your girl is coming out with lots of fitness content and honestly like 
what I have in store is gonna be crazy. Hopefully soon I can take online clients and it's just gonna be bada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna help you reach your goals and I'm just freaking pumped. Kobe is not, I don't know if you can hear him, he's not happy. He's been growling all morning. So yeah, that is my cue to end this video. Kobe's growling, the wind's blowing, and I have work to do. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.